In this video, we will see about Introduction to Web Services WSDL. What is WSDL? WSDL stands for Web Services Description Language. It is the standard format for describing a web service. The WSDL file is used to describe what the web service does and gives the client all the information required to connect to the web service. It uses all the functionality provided by the web service. It is an XML grammar for describing network services as collection of communication endpoints capable of exchanging in messages. Features of WSDL WSDL is an XML based protocol for information exchange in decentralized and distributed environments. It describes how to access a web service and what operations it will perform. WSDL is a language for describing how to interface with XML based services. Structure of WSDL document a WSDL document is used to describe a web service. This description is required so that client applications are able to understand what the web service actually does. The WSDL file contains the location of the web service and the methods which are exposed by the web service. The WSDL file itself can look very complex to any user but it contains all the necessary information that any client application would require to use the relevant web service. The general structure of WSDL file consists of definition, target namespace, data types, messages, port type, bindings, service. One key thing to note here is that the definition of messages which is what is passed by the SOAP protocol is actually defined in the WSDL document. The WSDL document actually tells a client application what are the types of SOAP messages which are sent and accepted by the web service. In other words, the WSDL is just like a postcard which has the address of a particular location. The address provides the details of the person who delivered the postcard. Hence, in the same way, the WSDL file is the postcard which has the address of the web service which can deliver all the functionality that the client wants. WSDL elements A WSDL document contains the following elements. 1. Definition It is the root element of all WSDL document. It defines the name of a web service, declares multiple namespaces used throughout the remainder of the document and contains all the service elements described here. Number 2. Data types The data types are to be used in the messages are in the form of XML schemas. Message Third one it is a definition of the data in the form of message presented either as an entire document or as an argument. Operation It is the definition of operation for a message such as naming a method, message queue or a business process that will accept and process the message. 5. Port type It is a set of operations mapped to one or more endpoints Defining the collection of operations for a binding. 6. Binding. It is a concrete protocol and data formats for operation and messages defined for a particular port type. 7. Port. It is a combination of binding and network address providing the target address of the service communication. 8. Service. It specifies the port address of the binding. The service is a collection of network endpoints or ports. So why we use WSDL? 
A web service is an important component in building modern day web application. Their main purpose is to allow multiple applications built on various programming languages to talk to each other. For instance, we have a .NET web application to talk to a Java application through a web service. The WSDL file is written in a plain old XML. The reason is that in XML so that the file can be read by any programming language. If the client application was written in dot, .NET, it would understand the XML file. Similarly, if the client application was written in the Java programming language, then also it would be able to interpret the WSDL file. The WSDL file is what binds everything together. From the above diagram, you can see that you can create a web service in the .NET language. So, this is where the service gets implemented. If you do not have the WSDL file and wanted a Java class to consume the web service, you would need a lot of coding effort to achieve this. But now, with the WSDL file, which is in XML, which can be understood by any programming language, you can easily have a Java class consume the .NET web service. Hence, the amount of coding effort is greatly reduced. This is a simplified fraction of a WSDL document. In this example, the port type element defines glossary terms as the name of a port and the get term as the name of an operation. The get term operation has an input message called get term request and output message called get term response. The message element defines the parts of each message and the associated data types. WSDL binding to SOAP WSDL binding defines the message format and protocol details for a web service. The binding element has two attributes, name and type. The name attribute defines the name of the binding and the type attribute points to the port for the binding. In this case, the glossary term port. The SOAP colon binding element has two attributes, style and transport. The style attribute can be RPC or document, remote procedure call or document. In this case, we use document. The transport attribute defines SOAP protocol to use. In this case, we use HTTP. The operation element defines each operation that the port type exposes. For each operation, the corresponding SOAP action has been defined. You must also specify how the input and output are encoded. In this case, we use literal. Thank you.